What's gone on in this drawer now? What's gone on in this drawer? This drawer was never... Look at this. How many... <laughs> look! Look! Disgusting. Hey, what's gone on in here now? I got... There's never... Look! <laughs> Is this you, Pete? Have you put 50,000 masks in my drawer? I just had to put them somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> 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 now you don't have to wear one on the show anymore. You've put one in here. Well... Bless you, Pete. I, I mean, that is too many masks. I, that was, they weren't in there on Friday. And for some reason, these... still in here. No idea why. No idea. I'll figure that out. What we do, it's that time. It's time for the news. <laughs> and we may finally have a motive for why Donald Trump held on to all of those classified documents at Mar-a-Lago. According to reports, Donald Trump told aides that he planned to trade the documents in exchange for FBI files on the Trump-Russia investigation. Ah, yeah, the hallmark of someone with absolutely nothing to hide. <laughs> Stealing state secrets that you can later trade for incriminating evidence. This would be like if you stole a cop car and were like, well, I'll give it back if you promise never arrest me. <laughs> also, this is how desensitised we are to Trump at this point. We're like, oh, good, he wasn't stealing secrets to sell to enemies. He was just planning to blackmail his own country. Well, that's something. <laughs> During a rally in Arizona over the weekend, Trump defended keeping classified documents by accusing past presidents of doing the same, including this outrageous claim. George H.W. Bush took millions of documents to a former bowling alley and a former Chinese restaurant where they combined them, so they're in a bowling alley slash Chinese restaurant. I demand an investigation because... <laughs> is it just me or does a combination bowling alley Chinese restaurant sound incredible? <laughs> you know where that is. Stop. Are you serious? Park. Where? Yeah. It's in Highland Park. I think it closed, but... I do know where that is. On Eagle Rock. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I've been. Yeah, that was a crazy place. It's a good place. Yes. Yeah, George H.W. used to hang out there all the time. It was <laughs> yeah. awesome. Good bowler, too. He's really good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I think I see what Trump's going for here, though. I do. I, does he think that fortune cookies are secret documents? <laughs> do they hit all these little secrets? They cut them into little lines, bake them into cookies. <laughs> not even good cookies, not nice. <laughs> Trump claims George H.W. Bush hid classified documents in a bowling alley slash Chinese restaurant. To be safe, Bush also hid some in a laser tag slash kebab house and a trampoline park slash rib shack. Got all the combinations covered. <laughs> And did everybody happen to see this? On Friday, President Biden spoke to workers at a Volvo plant in Maryland where he opened with this line. Have a look. Let me start off with two words. Made in America. <laughs> Made in America. <laughs> he doesn't make it easy, does he? He doesn't... He doesn't... No. He said two words. It ended up being three. Even Biden's sentences are experiencing inflation. <laughs> I will say that is one of the most American things you can do. Be bad at math. The crowd really supported Biden when they heard this. They were like, three more years! Three more years! <laughs> and finally, a playset has gone viral for encouraging preschoolers to become, and this is true and equally depressing, YouTube influencers. It's a toy vlogger kit that includes a pretend selfie stick and a camera stand with a ring light on it here. There it is. Look, look at that. <laughs> is the exact right response. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, it's actually, I saw that, it made me nostalgic for, like, quaint, old-fashioned childhood activities, like killing someone in Fortnite. <laughs> they should actually give this to adults who are thinking about starting a YouTube channel. Like, yeah, just set this up and get it out your system. <laughs> Can we see it again? Look at that. The influencer kit includes a pretend selfie stick, camera stand, and ring light, and, of course, most importantly, a terrible relationship with your parents. <laughs> and that, that's the news. We'll be right back with more of The Late Late Show. <laughs> yeah.